Let's take a look at the drip. Right there. You boys don't get fired in this. Wait, it's, so it's lit. Little. She wanna catch all of the drip, drip, drip. Hello. That was a little anticlimactic. What I was gonna say is it's finally happening, but not in the way I thought it was gonna happen. We gotta go get a baby duck. I wasn't planning on to have to rescue a baby duck. I was planning on having to direct the family of ducks away from the pool so the baby ducks don't get stuck in there, but that's not what happened. Apparently, the mom left last night with all the babies, but there's one baby that's in the pool right now that's been in there since 8 a.m. this morning. And it's like 11 something. It's finally trying to get up on like the pool floaties and stuff like that because it's struggling to swim because it's been in the water so long and it can't get out. Before it gets sucked into the filtration system, System, we've got to go get it. Okay, uh, now I want to look around for the mom first just in case she's there because I just don't want to take the baby if the mom's still looking for it, but we got to figure that out first. If we end up finding a baby duck, his name is Chad. I'm telling you right now, there's no other option. I hear him. You hear him. You can hear him. Found him. Where? Look at him. Look at him. There he goes. There he goes. Now look at this, guys. Right here are all of their little eggshells all under this bush. They, they hatched four days ago. Four days ago they were born. I'm guessing the mom left. Nate said it's been in here for four or five hours. There he is. Right there. Oh my gosh, bro. This thing is only four days old. It's only four days old, bro. That is insane. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, okay. All right. Um, let me grab my glasses. Let's go. Oh, he's so little. Same in Chad. Oh my gosh, bro. That is crazy. Look how tiny this little guy is. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my. So I want you guys to know I would never take a baby duck from its mom. That's never the intention. There's not much else I can do in that situation. Um, he's been in there since 8 a.m. this morning and it is now 11.30. And he's been in there by himself since 8 a.m. this morning. You had to shave, Chad. There was literally nothing else we could do. Because one, the dog would have eaten him and two, he would have gotten so tired to where he died. I'm surprised he wasn't, he wasn't dead then. Or, worst of all, you would have gotten sucked into the skimmer. Like a pool skimmer, if you guys don't know what that is, you would have gotten sucked into that thing and then got sucked up. I'm, I'm surprised it hadn't already happened because it's a baby duck and it doesn't know. All right, we gotta go give this little dude his dream home. Okay, I ended up buying this earlier. Those are for my other animals, which I guess we can now put to use for this guy as well. Okay. Yeah, we got a new duck, buddy. We got a new duck. So I know a bunch of you are probably wondering, where are the squirrels at? Um, well, we took them to a rescue center. Hi, little guys. Hi. Okay, so for everyone who told me these squirrels didn't need rescuing, but no, everyone was saying I could have just let them go and they'd be fine. Well, I actually talked to animal control and they advised me not to let them go. Now, I don't want to keep them. Like, I'm not trying to keep them. That's not my goal. I'm just trying to get them to where they need to be. They told me don't let them go because they appear to be around six weeks old and they would probably die if I were to let them go by predators, other squirrels, which is the squirrel up there. But they directed me to a rescue and rehabilitation center. So that's where I'm going to take these little guys. And I'm not going to lie. I mean, they're cute. They're really, really freaking cute. I mean, look at them. I would love to keep them, but there's no need for me to keep them. This is just a great place to house animals until I can get them to where they need to go. So we've already had a possum and now two mini squirrels. Oh, they're under my hand, just snuggling. Oh, here he is. Hey, buddy. Hi. That is my... Itty bitty squirrel. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Closed. All right, Mr. Squirrels, it was a good time with you guys. Oh, by the way, Believer Merch, the Fanatic brand. Go get some. You, you good, little guys? So now this is opened up. I can put a heat lamp in here, but the little duck does not need bark or anything. Okay, so that's set up. I can put a heat lamp in there. He's definitely gonna need a heat lamp. Not during the day, but at night for sure. He's only a few days old. All right, little guy. Chad, all right, Chad. They get scared and they start like trying to get their mom until you do this. My bad, looks like I'm totally trying to eat the duck right there. I'm not trying to eat the duck. If you blow hot air on them, they'll like wrap up and they'll go to sleep in your hand. That's what I used to do with my other little ducks. Oh, come on, Chad. Steven, Steven. Look, Steven, I got another duck. All right, little guy, here's your water. There is our little guy right there. We're gonna get a heat lamp in for him in a minute because he's kind of starting to shiver and shake. So we'll get that done. Food bowl. Heat lamp, as you guys can see, duck feed. 
This duck food is a little big for him. That's the only thing, and that's because this is for big ducks, not little ducks. Although he does need to get some food right now. So what I'm gonna do, grind this up for a second, which is working actually really well. That way we don't have him choke. Because the last thing we want to do is, is save a little duck from getting stuck in a skimmer to then letting him choke. So we're gonna do this for a second and put it in. Slide this this way. Now you have to put their food next to their water because they use their water to chew their food, to soften the food, because the food is dry. And you guys know, I mean, we have other ducks in there. Um, so what we're gonna do, put this directly next to the water, so we should be able to get it. Try and help you out here, Chad. Here, and that should be that. This sh should work. Yeah, this is a large heat lamp. This is great though, because this is gonna mimic its mother's warmth. In, all right, now we just run this along. All right. <laughs> Sweet heavens. Look at that, make it your little home, bro. Look at you. So what we'll do, once he gets bigger, we'll introduce him to the bigger ducks that we have. And uh, hopefully, hopefully they can kind of nurture him too, but we got to get him a little bit bigger. Those eggs only hatched four days ago. So, whew, we're good. On top of everything though, we put goldfish in this pond. Well, we've got quite a few fish, 50 to be exact. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. So I rescue a bunch of fish and put them in my front yard pond, but I, then I, once they're all good to health, I drop them off at a local person who sells them. Now this is a stocking of the front yard pond. Okay, so we've got literally all of our, uh, our goldfish, there's 50 of them, we're gonna put them into the front yard pond because it's now clean and ready to go. Now that everything is going good, the fish room, I haven't shown this in a little bit, is doing good as well. We've got our puffer fish. Hey, kiddo. The beta is the axolotl. He's down here. I still have the water low in this because I'm still doing some stuff to this tank. But he is chilling. The big tank as well is also doing, well, just about perfect. Oh, Jacob Fetter. Howdy, partner. And then the electric catfish is in here with our goldfish. And last but not least, hey, kiddo, what's up? Hi, how are you? Our Holland Lot bunny, the world's cutest bunny. Steven! Hi, sweetie. Hey, oh, are you, you getting, drinking some water, Russell? Now, I'm gonna spend as much time with this duck as I possibly can. For example, he's sleeping on me while I'm editing this video. Hi, little guy. Say hi. So I can become like its mom, because I want it to be able to hang out with me, follow me around, like I love when ducks do that. That's exactly how Penelope was with me, and my other duck, Popcorn, that we rescued. Roll the clip. Dude, look how tiny it is! It's got no home! It was inside here. Oh my god! I'm gonna have to bring that home. It's gonna be so hard to keep that thing alive. I gotta get a heat lamp. I gotta get a Ben. I gotta get some straw or hay. Look at this thing. We finally caught it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh. Dude, there's no way, no way this thing is they... over three days old. Look at this god, thing. look at how tiny it is. Look at that. It's a beautiful duck. I mean, look at the colors on it, but oh, yeah. look, look. Shaking. Oh, oh, it's terrified. Yeah, let's get this thing home and get it into a heat lamp. I can't believe that just happened. Literally about the exact same age and size of this duck. And he would follow me everywhere. So, what we're gonna do, slide our little top off, and you can come with me while I edit this video. Oh my, <laughs> look at her, look at her eyes. Hey, little guy, come back over here. I'm out here just vibing, and this baby duck is chilling on my shoulder. Hey, hi little guy. Oh my gosh, I love him. Look how freaking cute he is. You wanna sit? No, he's trying to get back up. He's trying to get back up. I'm trying not to talk too loud because I don't wanna scare him. But we're cooking you tonight, little guy. No, I'm just kidding. Well guys, hopefully you went on to enjoy today's video. If you've got to join my channel, Russell, tell him to join. Subscribe button, click the like button, the notification bell, come on, or not. We've got everything going on right now and we now have a new baby duck. Like I said, his name is Chad. So everybody comment some cool things we can do with Chad, like make him a water slide. or something like that. Ducks are actually really playful, very friendly, and once they start to like you, they really get along with you. Just like Pickle Boots and Russell. Pickle Boots is currently eating Russell. Pickle Boots, Pickle Boots, stop it. Russell, tell him no. <laughs> but with that being said, hopefully you went on to enjoy today's video, and I will catch you, ladies and gentlemen, on the next episode of uh, Fanatic. Peace.